What's going on folks? It's all Sando here and today it time to make a make a video about my opinions on Splatoon 3. Um before the video starts, um I am the autistic nearly 30 year old adult. Love Splatoon and video games because Splatoon is my heart and soul of gaming. Preach for the Splatoon, folks. Anyways, folks. Um, I am the semi-competitive Splatoon player. Uh, I know people are gonna say you're the fake competitive Splatoon player. Like, I love Splatoon 3. My personal opinion is, is a 9 out of 10 game. In my opinion, I don't care what people are saying. No regrets, no bullshit, no negativity, no regrets, not denying it. Because Splatoon 3 is my heart and soul and will remain legendary and it will never die. Because why? People need their chances to play Splatoon 3 if they don't have Splatoon 3 or who took a long I hate it. And by the way, I love Splatoon 3. It is unscripted. I don't give a shit. So yeah, Splatoon 3 had so much features and also so much fun to play. Especially PvP on Splatoon 3 and Splatfix because it is so good in my opinion. Splatoon 3 has been released on September 9th, 2022. And Jesus Christ, almost two years old? Love! Man, this game got even better. Anyway folks, enough fooling around. Without further ado, let's play this game. I mean, let's tell my opinions. 20 things I like about Splatoon 3. Let's begin. Number one, Splatoon 3 PvP. Um, I like PvP on FPS games. Um, especially I like Splatoon PvP better because yeah, you can, um, you can try to defeat enemies, like splat them with your weapons of your choice, and also try to dominate them on either a turf or ranked, and yes, and also, um, you could try to grind to S plus, like, just like I did last year, I have reached S plus. So anyways, I like PvP better mostly because I like the OG feel of Splatoon. Number two, Splatfest. Um, I am the OG because I like Splatfest. I participate Splatfest before on, which is I started since October, I mean 2015. I was ninjas, but I lost the first ever Splatfest. Then I won the first ever Splatfest as Team Naughty on Splatoon 1. I won the first Splatfest as team friends also lost as team pancakes in the first time i don't remember and also i won the first splatfest on full release as team gear so splatfest is better than big one for me um i like i i like to try to have fun with somebody or play pro or try to get a 100x or 3x belt but unfortunately uh my luck sucks so, I like to play it to get the ruler and get the super seas now, despite getting pissed off at Splatfest 2 because of Turf War, which is sucks. So anyways, here's my next one. Number three, the weapons of my choice. Um, so, um, I like playing shooters like Tana takes Splash Shot and Octo Shot, um, he um, Hero Shot or OG Splash Shot. For Splatoon 3, the decapitators. Like, I like the shark hole, but I don't like getting jet still. Um, yeah, the mid decapitator because this kit is okay. Not bad. Heavy edit, a splatling. Um, dry slosher, Norvo. Um, paint brushes, and it flames a roller. But downside is, dude, this these kits ain't that good now, which is sucked. If this third kit, uh, I don't think it's gonna happen, sadly. It, it sucks for you. So yeah, I always pick my weapons of my choice that I'm comfortable with because I'm a, um, I'm an aggressive Splatoon player. 
front liner or mid liner. Number four, side order. Um, side order is a roguelike game, so you could you have to play as an octoling. So my character choice of octoling is Ayla. Um, she had curly hair and she had a um some kind of dark purplish outline and a and a light blue circle. And that fits Ayla good because oh my, oh my god she's thick. Sorry. So yeah, I just had to do get the 100% on side art with all weapons. But um, I didn't do the broken charger run. So I haven't done side art for so long. So yeah, side order is 10 out of 10. Number five story mode um story mode um it is like octo expansion you can pick the weapons if you want and try to do a lot of these challenges but some are hard like a string apart and other challenges especially the zip caster one is pretty good so yeah i don't want to tell you spoilers about that because alterna is located underground like a snow plate of the space of the spacecraft or a space shuttle. I don't know what the hell is this called. So yeah, I like this story mode. It's just like Octo expansion, and I give that 10 out of 10. Number six, the gameplay. So um, I like the gameplay. The graphics are so good. Nintendo tried our best to do the shading of the either Inklings or Octolings, and holy shit, it is it is. It has some good graphics, but if they Switch 2 or Splatoon 3 port or Splatoon 4 comes out, that will make the graphics way better because I appreciate the gameplay and the lore of Splatoon 3. Alright, next up, number 7, Splatoon 2 Amiibos that carry through Splatoon 3. Um, I am happy that I got the marinade top. I want this top for so long since 2019 and i got a fucking tick on me i gotta throw this bitch away my tick is terminated so yeah i like the marinade top and also on splitting three i got the i got that metal suit too because i like tank tops so yeah um some amiibo gear were good some amiibo gear i don't really care that much the splitting three amiibo gear that i want it does shiver it's a shiver gear, and sucks is there's no side of the amiibos. Like, where's the side of the amiibos, Nintendo? We need it, but it's just copium. Anyways, next up, number eight, the customization. Like, I like to customize my character and my OCs, like, anywhere I can wear. Like, Saw Sandra, my Ink Sona has, um, glassless glasses, marinade top, and um red hammer trend my og from splatoon 1 has special forces parent rocking blood black or octoling armor octolite armor and um blue mo boots yeah so i could customize my ocs also to to add on my ocs on the internet so yeah i consider the customization is very good also, lockers. Yeah, I could. I like to close my lo my lockers. Well, artists can't do that. But I'm the uh, I'm just a uh, average artist. So yeah, I like to close my stuff because as an autistic, nearly 30 year old man, I love to put stuff at my locker, cleaned and organized. Next up, number nine. <laughs> the map. The maps are fine. I know it's a hot take or unpopular opinion. I don't like people bitching about the map. So let's talk about the map. I like the Splatoon 3 map personally. It's better than Splatoon 2 because just tired of copium of Camp Trinifit or Murray Towers. I am sorry people, the Wreath and Snapper Canal will not be in Splatoon 3. Lamar Hub is a final stage. Wait till Splatoon 4, baby. So yeah, the maps I like for Splatoon 3 is Founder Heights, Bluefin Depot, Hagglefitch Market, Undertow Spareway, which is a rework, 
um, is really okay map still. Um, Mahi Mahi Resort. Okay, Museum Del Alfonsino. Um, Chip Chip Cargo. Grab Like Capital. Macomart. Yeah, and so on. But I'm gonna tell the bad map on, uh, things I don't like about Splatoon 3. So yeah, I say I feel the maps got a bit better like Bonko and Dime and Hammerhead Bridge, which is they're not even that perfect. Nintendo, I appreciate Nintendo trying to rework the maps. I don't care what these kids are, these little kids are, because they cry like a bitch. So anyways, I got to say, the maps are fine. Why? Anyway, folks, enjoy your maps that you like on Splatoon 3. Anyways, next up, number 10, the Decavitators design. So I like the design of the Decavitators. Like, the charcoal design is so badass. So it's like you put a um, electric toothbrush in and make it like a freaking samurai sword. I love the horizontal the slash. Horizontal slash. That's why I'm getting some decent kills. And it take me time to master. I know I'm on long break still. But yeah. I love it, dude. I love it. Uh what if the what if the custom kit? I want burst bombs and triple ink strikes on Ooh. What is gonna be? Velvet Decavitator? I would love that. Just anyways, next up, number eleven, the special. I like the specials in Splatoon 3, except for these bad specials. Um, what specials do I love? Triple Ink Strike, Trizuka, Tactic Cooler, um, Triple Splashdown, Kraken, Wave Breaker, yeah, and also Booyah Bomb, and also, yeah, Ultra Stamp, yeah, it's still annoying, and also Tenta Missile. I like Tenta Missile, because the rest of the specials from Splatoon 2 is, is that. Um, so anyways, personally, love the specials in Splatoon 3. Eh, so anyways, folks, next up, number 12, the positive side of the Splatoon community. Yep, art and positivity is key in the Splatoon community. Like, I trusted Big Beyond for Splatoon 3, Squidman, um, the small splat tubers that are positive and doesn't trash talk Splatoon 3. The Falco Flyer. I like to watch some competitive Splatoon players. And I just like watching some positive videos and watch people play like Lobstar. Which is, he is a competitive player. Like hell, like, fuck that. I like watching Squid School. I like watching competitive players play. Either casual or competitive like Jack Ogen. Hey, guess what? I'm a semi-competitive Splatoon player. But for competitive scene, you got to have a team. And I wish I'll participate tournaments also to be part of this positive community. I don't care casual or competitive. I want to improve for Splatoon 3. I don't care 2025, 2026, or until Splatoon 4 comes out. I will participate tournaments because I'm not retired. So anyway, always look at art, positive vibes, don't be a douchebag. Don't be a bitch. I am not a bitch. And time to kick some ass. A uh, gay drawing tablet. Draw some Splatoon characters. Uh, put some positivities and rock hard and metal vibes for positivities of the Splatoon community. Don't pay attention to the negative side of the community. Anyways, next up, number 13. The ranking system. Um, I get some people don't like the ranking system, but for me, I like the ranking system because I use a hate rank in Splatoon 2. Like, if you get wins as possible, either four out of three, you'll get some points. But the shitty part is you got to get a good win rate. If you get two out of three, you didn't get much points. And you had to wait your freaking points. Or else you're in debt, which is gonna suck for you. Uh, try to win more and deal with these bad teammates. Because I dealt with them a lot and make me rage. So yeah, I just like the ranking system. If they rework the ranking system, either Splatoon 3 or 4, um, I would be a bit proud of that. And I'll try not to be sad about it. 
Yeah. So anyway, get some rank, try to reach S plus or S plus 50 because S plus 50 or S plus looks impossible. I reached S plus one time on Splatoon 3. I want to go for two time S plus. Please give me good matchmaking. Number 14, the social hubs for Splatoon 3. I am so happy that Angopolis and Angopolis Square is carried in Splatoon 3 because uh, Nintendo just preparing for the end of the saga for Splatoon and start the new saga for Splatoon like Splatoon 4, 5, and 6. So yeah, I love Splatoon. I love Splatoon. This franchise is so badass. I like Splatsville and Angopolis. These are the my most hubs that I like and making me a chaos risk taker and the OG player. So anyways, I freaking love it. Number 15, the map reworked. Dude, Nintendo trying our best to do the Splatoon 3 map rework like My My Resort, Miss Me Malworks, Undertow Spareway, Hammerhead Bridge, and Bonko and Dime. The reworks I want is um, Eel Till Alley, Unami Ruins, Scorch Gore, and Wander Heights. I know they try to our best do some terrain changes like Unami Ruins, Eel Till, and so on to try to get the flanking roots, but I don't care about people bitching about our map no more because they need to shut the fuck up about this. Shut up! Shut the hell up! Sorry, kid. Sorry, little kid. Wah! And 18 and adults. So, anyways. I gotta say that again, the maps are fine, and I like, and I, and I like it a bit. That's up. Number 16, Freshest Fits. Like, put your weapons of your choice to Freshest Fits, or use Amiibo for Freshest Fits. Because it will be easier to find the right gear for your next match. So, I need to start using it much often, because I need to not waste time for that because goddamn I'm old. Okay, next up, number 17, photo mode. Um, so you can do photo mode at any place else, any place else, either, um, either the Splatfest or a uh, big run, um, any maps that you like, but downside is there's no night theme for the Splatoon 3 maps. So by the way, um, uh, make sure you show your poses and do your stunts and all that. Anyway, folks, next up, number 18, pool system. Uh, are you tired of, um, wind code? So, use a pool system. Put the pool code, put the pool name, use the R trigger, and until you see the, the mail icon, then make sure it shows my name, like Saul Sandra, for PBs, Turf War, and, okay, Splatfest, and Anarchy Open. I'm not managing Salmon Ron. Fuck Salmon Ron. So anyway, make sure you, you put your pool code if you want to join a pool with some Splattubers. The part of the Splattubers. So anyway, next, number 19, the music. So personally, the Splatoon 3 music is so much better than Splatoon 2 music. The Splatoon 2 music really shit. Uh, yeah. But yeah, until Splatoon 3, um, they have these songs like Triple Dip, um, Slat Tack, um, Sea Slide, uh, Sea Source by Sashi Mori, um, Aqua Sonic, and also Chirpy Ships No Quarter. But other music that I don't like is just jazz music because I don't really like jazz that much. I mostly like the rock and metal vibes of Splatoon, in my opinion, folks. And also the Splatfest music is it's pretty good. But I like the Squid Sisters and Off the Hook music. But seriously, the Splatoon 3 music is fine. Anyways, last one. Number 20, Shiver. I like Shiver. One of my favorite part of idols of deep cut because shiver so shiver so is a minute of the chart and i like shiver and shiver shiver has a gap <laughs> sorry just want to be hilarious so anyways personally like shiver better than Fi and big man and that's why Shiba deserved to win Splatfest because Shiba is good and I'm sick of the haters. So anyway folks, Shiba likes you, man. If you're a Shiba fan, you're in the right place. Anyways, 
Here's my honorable mention, the special splat fest. Um, I like the special splat fest, like, sadly, I didn't participate in Halloween. Um, Fossey Fest, Swing Fest, um, Summer Night, and, uh, and guess what? Final Fest, because I like the special splat fest. And the, also, the anniversary splat fest is so awesome and so cool. So the Final Fest is going to take place outside of Lothville because of Lothville because of Salmon It. That I'm not going to do Salmon on because guess what? Salmon on sucks in my opinion. So anyways, I, I appreciate Nintendo trying to do hard with special Splat Fest and the uh, Fizz Bangs and the Splat Fest changes and making probably one to Splat Fest. But yeah, I'm going to talk about the fly propaganda on 20 things I don't like about Splatoon 3 now. Anyway, folks, that is it for the video. This is Sandra. I hope you folks enjoy your, enjoy your rest of your day or night. Anyway, have a great one, folks. Be positive. <laughs>